Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> Where are you going? Anand's class. classroom. Ah, okay. But uh, the purpose is the same. We're studying yeah. for final <laughs> IB. Right now I'm in the library and I just opened my laptop and everything I have my table. Today I'm planning to study Chinese and I'm doing a paper one and paper two um, exam writing. I started studying four weeks ago. I studied one subject in each week. So the first week I studied ESS and the second week I studied econ. And for the past two weeks I've been studying math and I just finished revising. Uh, everything for math yesterday. So today I'm just gonna do past paper and practice writing the paper and the timing strategies. Yeah. I just finished my paper to practice in the morning and it took me one and a half hour to finish it but you know I am very satisfied with the result and my hand now is so sore but I still have paper one in the afternoon so keep going back to library again and I'm doing a paper one for Chinese self-taught subject. I just took a 20 minute nap and I want to tell you how important nap can be to me because nap is actually like an energy charging period. There's like a scientific research showing that taking a 26 minute of nap every day will help you to work more efficiently in the afternoon. Yeah, so I basically do whatever that research paper say and I am so energetic right now. And after that, I think I'm going to read a novel because I already have some of my friends studying too much and having burnout. So that's the reason why I think relaxing, you know, when you're studying really hard is very important. You don't want to have like mental breakdown or being like stressed out. Yeah, so I'll do my paper one. Let's study. Finished everything! Yay! Oh my god! This paper also took me one and a half hour to complete it, and I feel very fulfilled, very good. I think one of the reasons that I've become better at doing paper one is that I've read books about sociology and philosophy, you know, those kind of stuff. When you're reading a text, sometimes you just focus on the surface or the maybe like the description of the character or how they live in their lives or just like a small family. 
but it actually reflects the whole society, like the world view and like the ideology of that society. Reading books about sociology can help you expanding your vision of this world and you're not just talking about superficial thing in your analysis, but thinking about what the author is trying to convey and how that related to the context and the bigger picture of that era. It's the break of dawn, I'm not making sense Talking to the world Ew. <laughs> Okay, aside from studying really hard for the final IB exam We're also, yeah, I'm vlogging, yes Going hiking, you know, like to relax for a bit, you know, not being too pressured by the exam preparation Think before I react no, it's bad when I play it back. I'm sorry if I pull you in on all my bullshit. No, it's annoying. I'm sorry if I show you. Cause when we're together, I should know better. Making mama proud seven days a week. Back around like a roller rink. When the sun is down, it sets a whole different scene.